All right, what's up guys? Uh, I know it's been a while since my last video, but today I wanna talk about uh, a couple of more shiny spots for some of y'all late game hunters to go for. Um, these videos tend to do well and they're pretty fun to edit, pretty fun to chop up together. So let's get into it. First off, I wanna talk about Smeargle. Smeargle is, uh, as you can tell here, an artisan cave. Um, in the Hoenn region as a horde. Uh, by the way, most of these are gonna be either times three or times five hordes, just because that's kind of the easiest, uh, in my opinion, to, to go for. Um, you know, I'm not talking about single encounters or egg hunting, so uh, just keep that in mind with this video. But basically, you're gonna wanna fly over to Hoenn and over down here to the Battle Frontier. Uh, so once you do that, you're gonna be put right in front of this PC. Now, for catchies, for shiny hunts, you're gonna need a Sweet Send Pokemon. Just wanna preface that right here. I have a Meganium with PP up. You basically wanna hotkey this, I have it starred. Uh, you'll also need a catching uh, Pokemon. I highly recommend Breloom with Toxic Orb and Poison Heal, just so, you know, he constantly heals itself. Substitute's really good for Ditto, and then False Swipe and Spore is what you really need. False Swipe gets him down 1 HP, and Spore puts him to sleep 100% of the time. Uh, everything else in their party you don't really need. I have a Teleport Pokemon, I have a couple of <laughs> Brelooms here for catching stuff. Um, you can run, like, a Minchino or something with Cute Charm if you wanted. Let's just pop one open here. Uh, cute Charm here as an ability, basically... Uh, causes basically a cute charm will kind of like flip the gender. So if you have a male Minchino, you have a 20% chance if it has cute charm to run into a female shiny. So that's kind of what some people do. Uh, I honestly probably should be doing that, um, but we're not going to actually, you know what? Let's just do it for the purposes of this video. I'm just going to show you uh, kind of a sneak peek here of what my bag is going to look like a little bit. Uh, take this Gibble away, put this Minchino up. This is my Level 97 Minchino with Cute Charm. I'll just flash it right here for you guys, uh, right here, Cute Charm. Uh, and basically with Cute Charm up here, 25% chance, oh, I thought it was 20, but it's 25% chance to opposite, uh, you know, opposite gender uh, enemies. Now, <coughs> what we're gonna do is once we're here in Battle Frontier, we're gonna go ahead and bike over down this way past this like tentacle spot. Uh, and from here, you're pretty much gonna wanna pop a repel. Uh, I don't think I have a regular repel actually. Um, that sucks. Well, I'm gonna have to use a super repel. Uh, you don't really need a super, but you know, for the purpose of this video, uh, that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, just go down this waterfall and come over here. You're gonna need cut and um, a surfing Pokemon if you if you don't have one, or a Surf Ocarina. And you're just gonna go on into this cave. And this is the uh, your cave. You're gonna take a step in and then go ahead and start sweet scenting. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just flash my Meganium down here in the corner. As you can tell here, we've got five times hordes of Smeargles. Very self-explanatory, nothing you know to see here really. I'm just gonna go ahead and do them all because I'm here. Uh, I'm gonna go through all my five sweet scents. Uh, and we're gonna get into the next Pokemon in a little bit here, but yeah, man, Smeargle is actually really useful because, uh, well, it's it's a very like utility-based Pokemon, so uh, having a shiny one is obviously going to be a nice thing. Uh, you can use it for a catching Pokemon. You can use it as an HM friend. Uh, there's a lot of different usefuls, uh, like usefulness, utility for the Smeargle, so... Yeah, go for a Smeargle if you really want. It's not that hard to get to. Again, you don't even necessarily need a Repel. Uh, I personally would probably use Lepa Berries in this spot just because I don't want to have to use a Repel and, and go back every single time. Uh, so if you really wanted a Smeargle, they don't really sell for a whole lot. Let's just check real quick here. Uh, to be honest with you, they really don't sell for a lot. Yeah, three mil for a Shiny. Like, that's not bad, but, you know... It's also not like amazing, but this is what it looks like. It's uh, it's okay, you know, it's it's all right. It, it does the job. So that is Smeargle. I have used my five sweet scents. And so we're gonna move on to the next location. Uh, yeah, let's go. All right, the next spot we're gonna be at here is Fall Arbor Town, another pretty common spot in the Hoenn region. Uh, if you're a ditto farmer, you're gonna wanna go ahead and come over here from Fall Arbor and it's right here in this grass. Uh, this is, oh, I forgot to heal. Whoopsie. <laughs> Let me go ahead and heal first. Um, but yeah, basically you're going to go to Fall Arbor Town. Uh, you obviously want to make sure you have your sweet sense replenished, uh, and, uh, go ahead and come on over and basically just touch this piece of grass and go ahead and start sweet scenting. What we're looking for is Spinda. I believe Spinda is going to be a hundred percent accuracy, hundred percent, um, encounter rate here. Spinda is somewhat useful i think that i saw a video from this youtuber named tnums 
and uh, he's another Pokemon YouTuber, uh, and I think he talks about like this pain split strategy for for Spinda, where you can use pain split and uh, catch Alpha Pokemon like much easier or something like that. Um, I don't remember exactly, but either way, Spinda is a really cool shiny. I wonder if there's going to be one on the market right now. Let's take a look. As you can tell, their base price is very cheap. Uh, no one's really looking for. A regular Spinda, but the shiny Spinda coming right now going for about 4k, 4 mil, uh, 5 mil for another one. Yeah, overall, uh, pretty, pretty useful. Uh, I wonder why this one's level 100. Interesting. Someone really wanted this Spinda up. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's Spinda. As you can tell, it's a very nice green. I think that Spinda is probably going to be on the thumbnail of this video. So yeah, man, Spinda is a cool shiny. I really dig it. Uh, I probably will spend some time here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna spend a lot of time. And you don't even need to Lepa Berry, that's what's good about this location, because as you can tell, especially, excuse me, if you have a teleport Pokemon, all you gotta do is, you know, hit your teleport key, and you're right back to the Fall Arbor PC. And uh, it's an easy shiny hunt, you know, it really is. The only negative thing is that there's only uh, three times hordes. So, you know, it'll take a little longer than a five times horde, but spin is cool, so that's the second spot. Let's move on to the third spot. All right, for the next spot here, we're going to be on the Sevi Islands in the Kanto region. We're going to be starting off here in one island, and what we're looking for here is Meowth. And uh, Meowth is going to be a horde on Kindle Road in the mid-30s level, so let's go ahead and bike on down. Uh, I think, let's see, will I need a repel? I probably will. I'm just going to... Oh, I guess I don't. Uh, and here we are, Kindle Road. <laughs> I should have planned that out better, but basically, you're going to go ahead and start screen scenting. And I believe it's going to be 50% Ponyta, 50% Meowth, if I remember correctly. Um, maybe there's a third Pokemon in there, but it's very likely going to be either Ponyta or Meowth. And honestly, Ponyta, like, I'm not mad about it yet. Here's their Meowths right here. Uh, I'm not mad about getting a shiny Ponyta if that was to happen to me, because blue Ponyta looks really nice. Now, the reason why Meowth is kind of a cool Pokemon as well is because it has the ability Payday, or not ability, but it can learn the move Payday as well as the move Pickup, um, or the ability Pickup. I think I said those backwards, honestly. But basically, Meowth is very useful for Payday, you know, Dratini and, and other kinds of Pokemon out there. I think Dratini is one of the most famous ones, but basically for single encounters, you basically just payday uh anything that's not shiny or anything you don't want and catch anything else you do want so i think meowth can learn false swipe as well uh so you can kind of double as a, a catching pokemon but yeah meowth is is pretty useful um just overall because a lot of people like payday farming so let's go ahead and check out if there is any shiny meows out there there probably is yeah about two mil not the best looking shiny out there to be honest with you but it, it's very useful to put it that way so yeah, a lot of low-level Meowths here. Kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's that's Meowth. Uh, it's right here on Kindle Road. Um, honestly, if I wanted to teleport, I don't think you necessarily need a Lepa Berries for this as well. So this isn't necessarily a hunt that I've been doing, but... Um, well, I didn't go to the Poke Center on Island 1, but <laughs> you get what I mean. This isn't a necessarily a hunt that I've been doing, but it is a, a pretty interesting hunt. So that's the third Pokemon. Let's talk about the next one. Next Pokemon up. I know I've been covering a lot of normal types so far, but let's talk about the a non-normal type. This is going to be Slugma. As you can tell here, Slugma is a, a horde found on Mount Ember uh, in the mid-40s level. So again, we're going to be starting in the same place in one island in the Kanto region, or Sevi Islands rather. Uh, and you're going to go ahead and surf back up the same way for Meowth. We're going to ignore any uh, any tentacles and any other Pokemon that we don't really want right now. You know, no offense to any tentacle fans out there, but we are going for uh, a Slugma. Wow, there's two in a row. That's insane. Um, while I'm caught here in, in these battles, uh, let's talk about uh, the fact that you're going to need to Lepa for this spot because, uh, well, unless you want to repel a lot, you're going to have a long trek ahead. So basically, you have to keep going up. I have to avoid all this grass. You're going to run into Geodudes. You're going to run into, you know, like I said, Ponyta and Meowth Hordes, uh, Tentacles, Tentacruels, things like that. I think this clip is going to be a little longer than uh, than the other clips just because we're getting stuck a lot out here. Oh, Slowpoke. I didn't know Slowpoke was here. Uh, but yeah, let's just try to get on ahead here. I'm kind of just filling up time to avoid editing, but you didn't need to know that. Let's go ahead and keep on going up here. You're going to go all the way up. Really hope I don't run into, well, 
there's another one. <laughs> as soon as I say I don't hope, I hope I don't run into something. What do you know? I'm gonna run into it, right? That's it's crazy, right? Uh, yeah, I don't want these tentacles. Don't want tentacles. Tentacles. If you haven't faced these trainers yet, you're gonna have to. I highly re recommend just in like the Pokemon MMO storyline, just kind of going to different places. Like if you've beaten the story like me, and you've you know you just kind of go for shinies and stuff like that, just doing like late game activities now. Uh, I highly recommend just beating all the trainers. So now that you're finally at Mount Ember, you're gonna go ahead and go to the right here. And unfortunately, there's some more caves, so I'm gonna have to keep on going here, trucking along here. Really should have popped a repel for the purposes of this video, but did not want to waste another one as my Poke Yen stack is a little lighter than I would like, but basically you're gonna follow the entranceway as, uh, as much as you can here. This is kind of an accurate depiction of what it's gonna be like if you don't pop a repel. So if you're you know getting frustrated at this video, uh, maybe pop a repel. Um, you're gonna go down this first ladder and keep on going there's only literally one place to go and now that you're at the second ladder take one step and boom start sweet scenting and it's going to be a hundred percent uh encounter rate for lepa uh for not lepa berries for slugmas i was gonna say lepa berries are pretty much necessary here unless you want to do the entire thing that i just did highly don't recommend that that is not fun since i'm here of course i'm going to be doing all my sweet scent hordes you know what it is why waste time since i took so much time to get here Slugma is a very nice shiny. I'm gonna go ahead and flash you one here. Uh, ah, wow, interestingly, their base price is also 3K. Interesting, I don't know why. Hmm. Did not did not know that. I mean, it doesn't really look like they're selling anyway. Maybe someone's like shiny hunt, shiny breeding one. You wouldn't really do that because it's a five times horde. Uh, let's take a look if there's one. There is one, fortunately, and it's a kind of an interesting color, as you can tell, it's a kind of like gray brownish it's like an like ugly color uh but sh um what's it called slugma is also useful because it has the ability flame body or it can have the ability flame body which basically hatches your eggs faster uh when you're when you're breeding right so it's kind of useful to just like flex a not useful but it's it's like cool to flex a shiny pokemon while you're waiting for your eggs to breed another benefit is that you can't accidentally breed a shiny pokemon because it will give you like a warning so that's what's cool as opposed to if you had like a regular one so i'm gonna go ahead and dig out of this cave and uh that is it we are going to talk about the last shiny here at the end of this video and uh yeah if you haven't already make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's get into the last video or last pokemon rather all right, guys, uh, here we go with the final Pokemon and is going to be Electabuzz. I actually don't remember if I already said Electabuzz was one of them in a previous video, but either way, this is one of my favorite Pokemon. So you're going to be starting off in Sinnoh this time in Sunny Shore City down here in the bottom right hand of the map. Uh, and basically, you're going to go left, left as much as you can. Uh, left as much as you can again and basically you're gonna want to uh, you can go in that grass that I just passed or you can go all the way over here and Hop right in here and sweet scent. This is route 222 and you're gonna be 50% uh, Floatzel 50% Electabuzz. Floatzel is actually interestingly in another spot for uh, Gabites so you know if you really wanted Floatzel don't get it here, you know, because this is like the only spot you can also get Electabuzz and Floatzel again You can also get in the Gabite location I think I made a video on the Gabite location But if I didn't uh, I'll try to make a video for next time because I'm sure there's gonna be another shiny hunting video out there soon uh, But yeah, here we go. Here is the Electabuzz horde uh, Electabuzz is like I said one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, it's unfortunately not the prettiest shiny out there Let's take a look and see if there is one out there. I do like their base price. Used, their base price used to be like 7k a piece or something like that. Here's the Electabuzz. Like it's an okay shiny, you know what I mean? Like it's not it's not amazing. It's also not terrible. Um, I, I really hope to turn one into an Electivire one day. That's kind of a less cool shiny, but at the same time, it looks really cool. And Electivire is like a really powerful Pokemon. So again, unfortunately, none here in this video. I mean, it's very, very unlikely that that's going to happen. But uh, yeah, man, that's that's Electabuzz. And that is the final spot for this shiny hunting video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. I'm gonna go ahead and teleport back. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, okay? Really appreciate um, the support. Hoping to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as we can. But uh, yeah, until that happens, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, peace out.